how to create these images using only a text description into Bajoni. Hey everybody, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this only by implementing some descriptions and some prompts inside Discord. And why this? Because Discord is a server, actually it's a bunch of servers and inside this code we want to look for the Metjoni server so we can start creating our stuff here inside this code so in order to get started here i'm going to be leaving you a link down below in the description so you can have the Metjoni account and what you want to do is to join the beta mode before you click in here you want to open a new tab of course and open your Discord account if you don't have a Discord, it's going to be really, really easy just to provide an email as well as a phone number in order to create your account. Once you do have that, uh, what you want to do, of course, is to now leave it open like this. Hit into join to be the authorize the server. And just like that, you are going to be inside mid journey. So now what you want to do in order to get started here, um, what you want to do is to implement the Metzjoni bot, this bot, and send that into your own server in order to start working properly. I mean, like a little bit more uh, for personal use. So um, these are the few rooms where newbies, I mean, just getting started like, like us, um, they are just creating their own ideas so as you can see, they have this futuristic background. They have the dent information. They have a lot of stuff here um, that they can use. And this is the reason, of course, why actually um, you want to start working in here. So if I scroll all my way down, I clicked into the fast forward slash and I typed info. I'm going to hit into enter. And as you can see, here is my information. I do have a fast time time remaining of 24 and I only have a description of a trial mode. If you want to check it out, the description, you do have the description feed inside the actual uh, Medjoni. Here are the basic plans. If you want to check it out, you can always link to that. You want to go into the fast forward slash and click it into the description. So uh, what I did here is to click into the Medjoni bot or look for the member list. And in here, I want to look for the Majoni bot. And I add this into the server that I just created. And here, I want to select a server. In my case, I just added in here. I'm going to hit into cancel because this one has been already added. If you don't know how to create a server, click into this plus button. And you can create your own in here. Really, really simple, right? So uh, what you want to do now that you are in here, as you can see, I have four different images of just a text description that I asked into the computer to create for me. So uh, as you can see, first of all, if you tapped into imagine and then you use a text description, it's going to be asking you, of course, to read the terms of service and apply that. So after you accept the terms of service, now you are good to go. And as you can see, we do have, for example, a cat dressed like an astronaut riding a blue unicorn. So I clicked and I use this prompt. And as you can see, it was a little complicated to the computer to generate that for me because as you can see, this is a giant cat. This is a giant cat. Um, I'm not pretty sure if this one has like a robot, um, an astronaut um, helmet. And I think like the most accurate can be this one, but I asked the computer to create a unicorn and this is not a unicorn. This is like cat actually. So uh, what you want to do is to select the option that best fits for you. I actually try to look for some other ideas. And I think I figured out like the best option for me is the number one. So what I did here is to hit into U1. U stands for upscale. So what I want to do is to upscale the image number one, which is actually this one. So the computer is going to be upscaling in a high quality the first image that I can like it. If you want to see more variations of a specific image, choose the option that says V number one. V, of course, that would be like for variation of image number one, variation of number two, variation of number three, and so on and on. Now, in this case, what I just did is to choose the upscale of my first image. And here, what I just need to do is to hit into the enter button. And as you can see, it says a cat riding a unicorn upscaling by 
this is my name, and here is a percentage of the actual work that has been created so far. If you want to cancel the job, you can click into this place and you can start right away. And there we go. As you can see, this is the upscale version of the first image. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to take a look into the image that was created. As you can see, it looks really good. I think this is my cat. This is my unicorn. It looks really, really awesome. If I want to see more variations, let's take a look into the variations of this image. I want to click into make variations. So click in here and we do have make variations. Here's the job already been created and we do have two more options. We have the light up scale redo and the beta upscale redo. This is going to be redoing this version of the same uh, upscaled version. As you can see this, if you see this like more in a more detailed way, I'm going to click into this image and I want you guys to see that this unicorn has like a really weird face and the cat is now very descriptive and is looking like forward. So if you check it out, the upscale version that was created for me the unicorn, the face was looking like too much better, more detailed, and the cat now is looking at us. So I think it's looking really, really great. So now what I did is to make variations of this image that was upscaled. So you don't want to make variations of a version that is not um, rendered yet. So you want to first upscale that and then make some variations. Now, as you can see, we do have four variations of this image. So I'm going to click in here and I want to take a look into, um, well, the image that was generated by me. I mean, as you can see, the, we have the, like this cat, really weird, but it's, I, I kind of like that, but I didn't see like their legs. And in the upper side, we do have something a little bit more different here. So uh, what I think that I'm going to stick around with the latest one because I think it's a little bit more um, development or even the third one because the third one looks like too bad for me. So I was going to be showing you what happens if I choose instead of upscaling and then making the variation number four, I just jumped right away into variations of the fourth image. So as you can see, these are the variations that were created for me. And as you can see, it's looking a little bit different here. I, I think like the... Uh, third one actually doesn't look so bad and here actually the cat looks really really cute So I think that I'm gonna stick around with the third option And once again, I'm just gonna upscale the image number three Which is actually this one and this is how we can just work into Into this code here into Metzioni into our Metzioni server So this is the way of how we can get started how we can create our own stuff now remember to don't spend absolutely anything in just one day. I mean, everything in just one day. You want to, uh, if you want to, like, just to figure out how this works. I think like it's great to just have like four or three works, different works. But in my point of experience, I think that it's better for you to just try to all the artificial intelligence to create something like this. And once you have an idea, make Metzioni to do this in a most uh, high definition way so you can take advantage of that. So there you have it guys. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools about the Metzioni. Thank you once again for watching the video. Now I'll see you in the next one.